In this tutorial, I'll show you how to solve word problems involving vectors. We have four examples. The first two are related to force, and the second two are related to velocity. So if you want to watch velocity-related problems, make sure you watch part two. In question number one, we're asked, two ropes hold a crate as shown below. The tension in one is 994 newtons in the direction of 15.5 degrees with the vertical, and the other has a tension of 624 newtons in a direction of 25.2 with the vertical. How much does the crate weigh? What we have to do here is break down each of these vectors into their components. Essentially, we are resolving the vectors. We have to find the vertical component of this vector and find the vertical component of this vector, add them up, and that will serve as the weight of the crate. So with that said, let's go ahead and find out the vertical component of 25.5 and the magnitude of 624. To do this, we'll be using cosine. Cosine of an angle relates the adjacent length with the hypotenuse. This if we consider this as theta, is the adjacent length and our hypotenuse is known. So we'll substitute 25.2 into our theta. Adjacent is what we're looking for, let's call it x, and the hypotenuse is the magnitude, 624. Before we find x, let's do the same thing for this vector. Once again, we'll be using cosine, and this time our angle is 15.5 degrees. Our adjacent is what we're looking for, so I'll write down ADJ, or simply X, as I did in the previous one. And the hypotenuse is 994. So I'll solve for X here, solve for X here, and sum them up. Let's start with this one. Make sure that your calculator's in degrees, because we are working with degrees. To find X, I multiply both sides by 624. So I have 624 times cosine of 25.2 and this gives us an x value of 564.6. 564.6 newtons. This has to be to three significant figures, although I won't consider significant figures until the very end. Just keep in mind that the last significant figure here is four. We'll do the same thing below. We have cosine of 15.5 times 994. This gives us 957.8. So x is 957.8 newtons. Once again, this has to be three significant figures, so I'll put a dot underneath the seven. Now I add these numbers up. So I add this number to this number. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 957.8 plus 564.6. We end up with 1,522.4, but of course this needs to be to three significant figures. So everything after this first two is insignificant. And since this two is less than five, this two stays the way it is. We have 1,520 newtons. In question number two we're asked, a cable running horizontally from the top of a telephone pole creates a horizontal pull of 875 newtons as shown. A support cable running to the ground is inclined at 71.5 degrees to the horizontal. Find the tension in the support cable. So we're looking for the magnitude of this vector. And keep in mind that this telephone pole is at equilibrium. It's not moving and it's perfectly straight up. This is a right triangle and if it is at equilibrium then the horizontal forces acting on this pole need to be equal. So if this is 875 newtons so should this. Therefore, the horizontal component of this vector is known. It's 875. All we have to do now is find the hypotenuse. And the trigonometric ratio that relates the adjacent and hypotenuse is once again cosine. So we have cosine at 71.5 degrees is equal to our adjacent value of 875. And we're looking for the hypotenuse, which we'll call x. To find x, you multiply both sides by what's underneath, which is x. That will cancel out the x at the bottom and position it on the other side of the equation. And then we divide both sides by cosine 71.5, where we get x is equal to 875 divided by cosine of 71.5 degrees. Using our calculator, 875 divided by cosine of 71.5 gives us 
2,757, this needs to be to three significant figures. So everything after this 5 is insignificant, but because this 7 is more than 5, this 5 becomes a 6. We have 2, 7, 6, 0 newtons. That number right there represents the tension in the support cable. If you'd like to see the answers to the velocity questions, make sure you watch part 2 of this series.